Advanced Mighty Vehicle. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Like, drop an AO. AO! Oh, what's this dude say? Wood crawlers. Oh, no spoilers. Namad. Wait, what? Namad? Namad? Who's mad? Nah, I'm not mad. Northern Alberta Mining and Development. After years of development, NAMAD is proud to unveil the future of mining technology. Okay. Ooh, controlled entirely via computer, the Rocked makes it safe to traverse areas normally inhospitable to humans. The remote operated compact tunneler is the vehicle to revolutionize mining for like space? The Rocked. Get rocked. Depth of 14. That is pretty sick. Equipped with four treads on the vehicle's body, difficult terrain is no longer an issue. Just the camera gets really freaking blurry every time you drive. Uh, with highly advanced maneuverability, there's no need to worry if you get caught between a rock and a hard place. Alright, can I ask a question? What made these tunnels? And why can this vehicle fit in it? The rock uses two high-powered hydraulic drills to maneuver quickly something something something. What is this tunnel? The rotating camera attached to the vehicle provides a live video feed of the rocked. The camera can pivot 360 horizontally and 90 degrees vertically via the control terminal. The camera is capable of 100 to 300 millimeter optical zoom to focus on important details. Like that rock. <gasps> look at that rock. It's a rock. Ooh, look at that rock. That's so rocky. Yeah. The compact microphone provides live audio of the rock surroundings. You hear that rock? Oh, yeah, that sounds like a rock. This is what? What was that? What was that last bit? What'd you say? This is especially handy for listening for hazards such as running water or nests. Or nests? Or nests? What nests? What has a nest down here? What are you zooming in on? What is that? Okay. Heard a lot of tappy taps. Rebooting. Okay, something just messed up the machine. What? It scratched up the camera! Or did it? Oh no, this is stalagmites. No, stalactites. Wait, yeah, because stalactites hold on tight to the ceiling, stalagmites you might trip. Got it? Because they're on the floor. Got it? Well, something knocked over the freaking robot. We're at a depth of 145. What? Alright, okay, an industrial grade battery ensures long life for the rat. A special casing keeps the battery secure and allows for a reboot in the case that the vehicle is compromised. Oh! You don't say! So what has a nest down here and it just compromised my vehicle? How about you explain that to me, huh? That looks like roots. Oh, are these the roots of the tree? The trees from up in the forest? Those are, those are like roots. Oh, that's where the roots are talking! The roots are prowling! Where's all this light coming from? 
Depth is getting lower and lower. We're at 149. What is that? Blood pumps through the garden's veins. Oh, no! Uh-uh! The crops mature? I don't like this forest! Oh, it has hearts! The cave has hearts! Why does the cave have hearts? And what is building a nest betwixt the hearts? We're at 151 now, and there's a glowing cyclops. What is this? What am I looking at here? A sun? We're at 151, and the camera is going... Wow! It is a cyclops! It's the squid creature! Or is it a wood prowler? What? We've seen these before! Oh, he got grabbed! The vines, the vines, the vines, the vines are wrapping around the car! That was at 164. What is this then? Shifting tendons shape anatomy? Mutation of the heart. Are you terraforming the planet? They're terraforming the planet. Into what, Gemini? And what, the freaking alien creatures are what, just eliminating humans to, to clear the path? Are you trying to make another Gemini? We're at 164 depth right now. Oh, that's a wood crawler! That's a wood crawler from the forest. We got the squids, we got the wood crawler. I'm gonna call them cyclop squids. They're not the same. I don't think they're the same. They look way different. The wood crawler looks more like a spider creature. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the remote cop time. time. More information regarding the rock can be found in your booklet. I don't want one. Not if I'm gonna be looking at stuff like that. Can we strap C4 on it? They are terraforming Earth, is what's happening there, and turning it into Gemini. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Deep root disease, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I am telling you, I am telling you. Drop a like, drop an AO. Hello. Ooh. Warner Area, Department of Health. Taking a sip of water, sorry. Uh, roots, contraction, bulbs, diagnosis, sprouts. Roots. Roots begin to form from the underside of bulbs. Once rooting stage begins, the speed of the growth increases as rooting stage progresses. The base of the root swells as growth continues, and the surrounding area becomes discolored. The roots will continue forming until coming into contact with a bone. With a bone? Once contact is made, the roots are able to spread freely. Contraction! The following demonstration will explain how an individual may contract deep root disease. Will it? Are you sleeping? The door just opened? Bro got infected at night. Bro got infected at night, but by what? A, a wood crawler? 
What infected this dude? Bulbs. Typically appearing on any normally exposed part of the body, arms, legs, neck, etc. Bulbs are the first visible sign of deep root rot. Bulbs can range from 2 centimeter to 10 centimeter across, meaning the growth may remain unnoticed for any amount of time. Is that just a hole in your skin? They feel hollow and may be pressed down with ease. Once rooting stage begins, the bulb will become solid and those affected uh, may experience pain. Is that like the, the, the thing on a tree? The area will become inflamed as rooting stage progresses and the small sores will appear around the affected area. Oh, it's like a tree! Like the, the circles, you know, you see on those trees, the knots, I think they're called? Take another sip of water. As rooting stage reaches its climax, these lumps will begin to form more rapidly. Inflammation then abruptly halts as sprouting begins. That looks bloody. Diagnoses! What are you gonna diagnose? If you believe somebody you know has contracted deep root disease, proceed with this very simple diagnosis test. Are they flammable? <laughs> for a bulb on exposed skin, for erratic muscle spasms, uh, they're home for unrecognizable smells. Check all that. Ask uh, if they can recall their mother's name. Okay, if they have stopped dreaming. If they have felt new bones! If four or, more, four or more of these tests describes an individual you know, they have become something else. Proceed with protective safety measures. Got it. Burn them. With fire. Flamethrower. I can burn fire, I just don't want to right now. I don't have enough mana, because y'all y'all's earth doesn't have mana here, so I can't burp out fire right now, but I normally burp fire in my world. Can't do it no more. Tried it. Been trying all, all this whole time. I got Isekai over here. Isekai. Alright. Okay. Is that a hand? That's a hand. That hand became a tree. Yep. Okay, that dude, so you become a woodcrawler is what happens. Okay, got it, alright. Um, it's nice to know how woodcrawlers become a thing. So basically, oh, oh no, the children! That can't be it! Oh, come on! Okay. I- I am convinced. Okay, nothing. I am convinced. I am convinced. That's gonna be it for this one on Gemini Home Entertainment, but based on what I have seen. I'm convinced that Gemini, the planet, is trying to con- either, either is the planet, in like, already, or is is gonna be Earth, or was Earth at some point. But I think that Gemini has sent its, like, aliens. It's, like, symbi- kind of like how certain animals live with other animals, like those birds that pick the the food out of alligators' teeth. Like, a, they live in symbiosis with the wood crawlers and, and, and the freaking other, the squids. And I'm assuming the squids are intelligent enough to maybe bring the aliens from Gemini over to Earth and start infecting the Earth and sh shaping and shifting it to ge a new Gemini so that they can live in it and it would be their perfect environment. Right? I, I can't think of anything else. That's all I got for now. We will check more out next stream on, like, for this. For sure. I think we definitely still have one more Spooky scary stream. I, I, even though I said we're going spooky scary until past November, all right? See, ha Halloween is all of October and November for me. That's it. There's no, there's nothing happening in November as far as I'm concerned. That's just, there's just Halloween. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 
I'm like freaking Nightmare Before Christmas. There's just Halloween and then it shifts into Christmas. That's pretty much all that happens. And Christmas don't start till December. 